Now, all new tonight at 6, a Charlotte doctor who sees patients all across our area accused of abusing his power to get drugs. Dr. Byron Leak is facing very serious charges tonight. He's accused of writing prescriptions and then selling the pills. He practiced at a number of clinics around Charlotte. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Becker is live at one of them in East Charlotte tonight. Mark? Yes, Scott, this is just one of many places where we found Dr. Byron Leak may have been practicing here on Central Avenue. I talked to a receptionist here this afternoon. She told me she hasn't seen him in months. And all of this court paperwork from York County, South Carolina, explains why not. The investigation focuses on this CVS drugstore and two others in York County, where investigators say Dr. Lee conspired to buy oxycodone, a powerful painkiller, more than a dozen times in February and March. They say he admitted selling those prescriptions in exchange for money. Dr. Lee turned himself in to the York County Jail this morning, and we've learned it wasn't the first time. He'd also been arrested in May here in Mecklenburg County on charges of illegally dispensing prescription drugs. Ten days after that arrest, Dr. Leak voluntarily surrendered his license to the North Carolina Medical Board and closed down what practice he had left. He's very concerned about this. Uh, we've been working together to, to get a defense. This afternoon, Dr. Leak's attorney, Rob Haroy, wouldn't go into detail, but he said that Dr. Leak knew the charges were coming and he has not tried to run. Haroy wouldn't say if Dr. Leak is cooperating with investigators, but everything suggests he is interested in putting this all behind him. And turning himself in this morning is a big step in that direction. It's uh, big charges, but one step at a time like anything else. And the next step may well be getting out of the York County Jail if he hasn't already, and then perhaps cutting a deal with prosecutors because he's given up his license to practice medicine before he may well be looking at giving up his freedom. Reporting live in East Charlotte, Mark Becker, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. As you mentioned, Mark, we did look through the records and found out Leak had his license suspended in Ohio back in 2006. The records cite his history of chemical dependency and use of alcohol, fentanyl, and marijuana.